Hello everybody and welcome back to Kataria Fables where, oh I just remembered, because this is the beginning of another recording batch, but I did remember what we were doing. <laughs> we're about to be able to use some dynamite to explode some stuff, yay! Dynamite, oh, let's get this mouse out of the way, ooh yucky mouse, we don't want the mouse in the way, no! Ah, uh, okay there's some rocks to bash but nothing really that good. At the moment I'm trying to save up um, silver, I don't know if I've got it in, in my thing. I'm not doing any any more stuff with the farm until I can get a golden watering can, I've decided. <laughs> I'll be making monster puddings. Monster puddings for days. So I've got a silver key there as well, which is awesome. Um, huge leaf dropped by flower pixies. I wonder how much a, a, a huge leaf goes for. Mucus, obviously I save that up for monster puddings. We go, we'll take that once we've got a few of them and we'll uh, go get some. Go get some monster pudding. I'm saving up gold, probably for a golden watering can first, and then we'll we'll see what else we need to do with it. I've got loads of copper and some insect wings. I know insect wings are needed for like one of the wing sets, but oh, I love these life steal wings so much. So how much how much does a does killing innocent little um, elves net me? You at? 972 for six of those leaves. I am. I don't mind killing more of them. <laughs> they kind of give me such lucrative uh, drops. That That is a lucrative area. Uh, and then, oh yeah, I got some silver. Okay, let's put that away. Oh, not the silver key, the silver. Now we want to get up to 50. So, no, actually we don't need to be up to 50, do we? Because we've got three silver bars. Now, I need to get, I believe it is 10 silver bars. So I've got enough there for seven. Oh, I might, that, that. Yeah, I think we've got enough. I think we've got enough, guys. Um, I don't know if we'll have the 10,000 we need for the sword upgrade, but I think we might be able to do a sword upgrade. And if we can do that before we go on to these new areas, that would be amazing. That would be utterly amazing. Let's go see Shamrock and let's have a little look at the recipe again, exactly what I need. So, I need two sunstones. I think I have that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I would need a bit more money, I think, because I'm going to have to use some money. And probably a little bit more than... Yeah, unfortunately, we won't have it today. It's going to cost me 700. Just to make the silver for it. Which will pull down my money, so I don't have quite enough. Boo! So... Now if I go to the shop, I'll go to the gladiator sword, I have everything except for the money and the sunstones. The sunstones I believe are back in my chest, but I will check that I have enough of them because I might need to go and kill that guy one more time. Get another sunstone. Let's have a look. I'm sure I kept at least one. By that guy, I mean orc, war orc warrior. There's nothing, nothing quite like being specific with what you say, is there? Uh... And I never do. Yeah, we've got one sunstone. And I would very much like... I'm going to actually put that there. I'm gonna put away the cotton, put away the wood. I'll keep the wood. I'm getting kind of an idea of the things that I, I need and, and things I should keep, things I should not keep. La 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 la. Okay. Let's go. Let's go to the forest. Let's go to the guardian forest and the entrance of the mountain tunnel. And then let's go and dig up all the gold. And let's have a look at how much gold they need for a golden watering can as well. That's going to be a massive money maker if I can get one of those. So I already have a silver watering can, right? So I need 4,000 and three pieces of gold. That would be, and, and gold is, so that would be 15 golds, 15 golds. Do I have 15 golds? I 
Have a look. At the moment, I have 12 gold. So if I can get three more golds, I'll have enough for a golden watering can. And then we'll have to properly water everything every day. And it'll be so amazing. So there we go. <laughs> but yeah, it's nice to have all the silver I need for the sword. I kind of need about 15,000. And I only have 9,440 right now. So that's not, not too great either. Okay, so quest-wise, what have we got? What have we got on our quests? Our last chance for is the only quest we have right now. Okay, fine. See if I care. Let's go to Forest Sanctuary. And then we'll just head up and use the dynamite. I, I hope I have the dynamite on me and I didn't accidentally like throw it somewhere. Hopefully it should just be a cutscene or something. So I'm just going to head up to the, the entrance. I was collecting clay. I think that was for like an upgraded bow or something. Uh, uh, an upgraded bow is kind of useful. But I've been doing so well with the sword so far that unless I really come across something where a bow would be really useful. I mean, I think Moon Lake it might be a bit useful, but I still managed it with a sword. And a little bit of uh, magic. Mountain tunnel entrance. Here we are. Okay. Macaron. What should we do now? Blow it up. Oh yeah, right. Setting the dynamite. And maybe, just maybe, I'll chant a spell right after you put the dynamite in front of the boulder. Who knows? It might work that way. Okay. Interact. Okay. Dynamite in five, four, three, two, one. We're going to ignite it? Okay. I think I did the countdown a bit early there. Okay, never mind. Oh, thy mystic door, I demand thou open thyself. If your passage is blocked, all you do is knock. Knock, knock. Open sesame? Gosh, just ignite the trigger, Neon. Oh. Stupid stone, you're the most stubborn stone I ever met. We did all of that. We even had to... Oh. What's happening? Delayed reaction as well. You should never go back and check a fire. Oops. Gosh, no wonder it wouldn't budge. It's not a boulder, but a giant golem. Uh-oh. I think the golem's annoyed you disturbed its nap. Careful, Nyan. Oh no, I'm doing a boss fight. Destroy the boulder. Oh no. I hate it when I get my things wrong. Use that one, okay. It takes a bit of patience, I think. Ooh, that was a nasty little smack, wasn't it? You nasty little golem, you. Oh, he's nearly there. He's got to be very patient. got some kind of copper key for that as well so next time I'm somewhere with a copper chest I can start actually opening them woohoo I'm sorry Golmi we had to do this don't hold grudges against us okay I think he's a bit dead so the golem shouldn't behave like this it's almost like someone has put a spell on it to hinder us something isn't right Nyan I'm sure of it we should keep our eyes and ears open okay but now we'd better tell the others the passage is finally open 
I gotta tell them that first before I'm allowed to go through. Oh man. Okay, so in the meantime, there's some gold in these here hills. They would very much like to uh, get that gold for myself and the silver. And any copper that happens to be there too. Because eventually I'll be able to start selling the copper bars and things. Probably. It seems like most of the time processing things in this game it does make you a profit. So hopefully it does in this case. But yeah, I imagine the copper key from the golem was probably intended to open that chest. But I already had a copper key and I already opened it. So uh, not entirely sure what I'm going to do with my copper key now. I probably have to find a chest somewhere. I think there's a silver chest back in the village, actually. I think there was one that needed a gold key, like in the, in the, in the, uh, uh, what's it called, in the swamp. So yeah, I'm gonna need something that I can sell for lots of money. You know what I'm thinking, don't you? Well, I don't know if I want to do that in the dark. Hmm. Hmm. But there is a way back home up here as well. So, yeah, okay, let's let's just do it. Put on my big boy pants and go and kill the turtle general guy because those leaves sold for so much and I reckon that turtle shell is going to sell for a huge amount as well. Because he seems to be, like, the biggest boss we've had so far. So I don't think uh, repeating that that would be too bad. Um, we also need to swing by and defeat, and it doesn't matter when we do it, but um, go and defeat the uh, orc, orc warrior, because the orc warrior has the sunstone, and I need that for my sword upgrade, and I would love a sword upgrade. You guys can just get lost. Seriously. Ow. See, now I'm going to have to beat up this guy. Ah, no. Ow. Ow. Get away from me. Now I've got it. Oh, okay, fine. That's probably the, the best solution that could come out of all of that, honestly. So, Blue Moon Lake. Right, so what I want to do is get to the... The most alone flower pixies that I can. Because they are evil. But they also drop leaves that apparently sell for loads of money, so that's also amazing. The problem is, they can get a second stun in before... Die, pixie, die. Oh, that one just dropped amber. That's a thousand on its own. I did not realise that they could... I think amber might be just a drop that any of them can do at any time. That tree is so in the way and it's so annoying. I'm gonna die! Oh no! I hate those guys so much. Okay, we're coming back in the morning and I'll come back and get some money doing that, but like, they're horrendous. They're really horrendous, but I got a couple of huge leaves and I got an amber, so that's gonna sell for loads of money, which is amazing. So I'm gonna go back and try that again. Because that's so worth it. Thing is with the amber, I think I need it for something. However, Today will be the day where I have enough money now for my new sword. Oh, except for the sun. Right, okay, so we need to go and find that orc. That will be the first thing I want to do today. Although, actually, probably going back to Shamrock um, and telling him all about... Oh, who is it that we're going to tell all about it then? 
Because we were supposed to tell someone all about it. Let's have a look. The path is open. Tell uh, Chief Oliver. Okay, let's go find the Chief. Let him know that we've done the good job. Hello, Chief Oliver. You seem in a hurry. Do you need to discuss something with me? About the tunnel entrance? What? Was a golem? Very odd. I've never heard of a golem behaving like that. So the passage is open now. Fantastic. I've been desperately wanting to know how our friends on the mountain are. I'm glad that we can go visit them. Thank you, kid. We couldn't do this without you. You're truly our hero. And I have obtained Whirlwind Swing. Ooh, that is a sword skill. Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to go and just defeat the, the Orc Warrior. I should be able to do that uh, without too much bother. Get myself another Sunstone. And then we're going to go and upgrade this sword again. So Forest Sanctuary is the best place to go. It's, it's a super central location. I love that checkpoint. And then we're going to go back to the Orc camp. So you go straight back through the transition. And you're basically at the Orc's camp, which is just super good. And then we're going to take down that turtle. Because the more leaves I have off those little those little dudes, the better. Because they go for a good amount of money, actually. 11,412 I've got now, just from selling leaves and stuff. Super good. Sucked. We're one-shotting these guys in a minute. Oh, I'd best do some life stealing, hadn't I? Uh, Letting myself take a lot of hits today. Getting out of practice in my old age. <laughs> in my old age of like two days older than the last time I played. I could really do with some stun resistance, couldn't I? Oh yeah, back to full health again. Entirely my uh, my aim there. So, mana back after that big old whirlwind. You should be like me and not telegraph your attacks. That'd be easier, wouldn't it? Give me your sunstone. Woohoo! Some funsies and then yeah I, I reckon I'm gonna want the money for the golden watering can um, and I reckon that I'm gonna get that from just killing all the dudes in Moon Lake so I think that's gonna be my next little stop and then hopefully once I've upgraded my sword again I'll be able to just like romp you know womp on through here womp yeah womp on through I got all the stuff I need for the sword now. So actually, why don't we go back and do that then? Upgrade the sword. That's just no good... Where, uh, I don't know where the best teleporter to get back is, honestly. Probably... Is it the swamp? Or would it be quicker going the other way? I really just can't tell from here. Do I need a gold or a silver key for this one? Okay. I need one that's a silver or a bronze because I've got loads of them. Oh, look, there's one here. A couple of clay in it. Wonderful. I think I need clay for something. I'm kind of saving it up, I think. 
Probably for a new bow. But if I have a better sword, I'll be able to collect the clay quicker. So that's the idea right now. So yeah, I'm basically just going to try and get the better sword before I even bother trying to uh, do the fights here. Because it's going to be quicker and easier and just everything really, isn't it? Yeah, I know there's chests and stuff up here. I should probably come through here and just like defeat everything as well. And once I have a better sword, that'll be easier too. Although they, they, they're getting progressively less better each time um, I upgrade them. Like this one will be like 50% better, I think, rather than like twice as good. Should have rolled there really. Oh no, it went the wrong way. Actually, let's let the, the uh, slow wear off a sec. Right, let's run back. The less time I give those guys, those little elves to, you know, survive, the better, really. <laughs> Don't give them any time. And the more damage I do to them per hit, the better that's going to be, so... Right, so this should teleport me back to the town. And then we're going to go and see. I think I should have all the stuff on me. Or village. We will go and see... Shamrock. Shamrock. Who does that remind you of? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Okay, so I now have enough money and sunstone and everything for a gladiator sword. So the one I've got at the moment is 95 attack power, 10% critical damage and 10% critical chance. I now do 20% and I do 143 attack power. So like I say, it's about 50% more. Then a great, a great sword will do 238, so that's sort of adding another 50. And then 380 for the holy sword. My goodness. Okay. Gladiator sword, here we come. Oh, that's not that chunky. That's a chunky sword. Right, so I need to go into my inventory and um, get that. Pot slotted. There we are. Now we can go and do things with it. Okay, so then I want to go back to Blue, Blue Moon Lake and I want to... In fact, I want... No, I want to see, like... I want to go see Shamrock again before he closes. I want to just have a look around his store. So the next one I I need uh, 18,000 coin uh, pouches. I've never had a coin pouch before. I imagine that you probably have to be beyond... That's probably coming from the north. The hyena tokens are definitely coming from the south, beyond the bridge. And pearls are certainly something I've never seen before either. So if I can get those, I can get basically... You know, money is the only thing stopping me from getting to the highest level sword there. Um, I already have the hunting bow. If I can get 20 clay, 5,000 pennies together, etc, etc, then I can I can upgrade to a squire bow. But I need moonstone to upgrade further. Rainbow scale for the cursed bow. And then I'll have to have a, a word with Pumpkin about things as well. Um, I think I might even have enough gold now for the watering can. So it's yeah, it's getting rather late. So I think maybe another another day, another dollar sort of thing. Um, I'm gonna go around as many bosses as I can to get money tomorrow. I think, and then and then we'll see. We'll see about going uh, exploring a bit further as well.
So I'm wondering whether like the crops, how many crops you sell is linked into whether Mrs. Apple gives you like and, and selling um, certain crops and things is linked to Mrs. Apple actually giving you new quests because I haven't had one from her in a while. Although the other thing is it might be linked be uh, behind that uh, tunnel quest. So I didn't seem to have any other side quests at that point. So we'll have to see. Three of those huge pe uh, leaves go for 486 poor pennies. They are, they are super good. Oh, something's happening. <gasps> Look at... I want Hazel's sword. <laughs> Just when I thought I needn't interfere. They shouldn't have been able to open the tunnel, at least not this soon. We must prevent them from getting any further. Our mission counts on it. Aye, Commander. <gasps> Hazel, what are you doing? Why is Macaron just randomly there? Oh, no. Hazel has her own purple Macaron. Um, are you sure this will work? It will work, Jet. It has to. <gasps> Jet. I worked very hard to get permission to come here. We have to succeed. What? You were also the one who assigned Nianza to work under you. Is this another one of your schemes? You aren't concerned they'll find out you're trying to hinder them. They won't stop searching for the relics and... Are you quite done? Stop talking and get to work. We have to do what we have to do. As a soldier, I have chosen to save the people from this calamity. Yes, your highness. Your highness? What? Hazel is a highness and Hazel is like working against her. Oh, man. I knew I should never have trusted a tiger. <laughs> Mind blown. Stop calling me that, Jet. I'm not royalty. You are Hazel, my dear. You're sister to the princess, after all. You could rule the whole kingdom if you wanted. You have the capability. You can even fight better than your uncle the king. Stop! Grumpy as ever. So what's the plan? Are you going to retrieve the relic before they can find it? I don't have the power to do that, but we'll try our best to intervene. Let's hope they give up in the process. I don't want to have to fight Hazel. She seems so nice. Okay, so the rest of this episode I think is dedicated to gold watering can. Good morning, Nianza. Macaron, have you settled in? Good morning, Chief. It's not that bad living on this farm, right, Nian? It's unusual to see you here. Did you? Did something happen? Oh, nothing in particular. I just wanted to stop by and say hello. I do have a message for you, though. So Jalby said he's expecting you to visit him soon, as soon as possible. He didn't say why. Better go and ask him personally. Anyway, it is good to see that you're doing fine. Have a good day, young soldiers. Cool. Why suddenly is he looking for us? No. I'm gonna take my new sword out for a, for a spin. In fact, while we're here, Where's my book gone? Maybe we should just go see Sage Albi. I don't know. Part of me wants to go and like kill all the bosses again so I can sell stuff for money. He kind of thinks I should probably do that first. So. Oh, we could just go around Sage Albies and then do like our boss, our boss, our boss run. Because the orc uh, warrior isn't too far away, and those sunstone the sunstones sell for a decent amount. I think they sell for like a thousand each. I bet that turtle shell sells for a good amount. And all the leaves from the guys around him will probably sell for like a thousand as well, so decent. Albie's Cottage! Yay! Hello! Sage Albie. Hello Sage, do you need our help? Oh, it's you. Have you figured it out? I heard you removed the tunnel boulder. That's right, Sage. We've opened the long-lost path to the north. But you know, that boulder's no ordinary boulder. It was a giant golem, a real tough one. 
I thought all golems are the forest guardians. Didn't expect to find a corrupted one like that. It probably had made contact with one of the relics. That's the main reason why I called you here. After studying the Canoidera map, I've concluded that one of the relics is very likely to be hidden in a place difficult to reach. The Icy Mountain. The Icy Mountain in the northernmost region? I bet the monsters there are much worse than down here. Undoubtedly, that's why you need to equip yourselves with more powerful equipment and magic. Don't forget about supplies too, it will be a challenging journey, but one worth the risk. Got it, Sage. I won't be taking food. I never use food. So I'm curious about something. What exactly happened between the Empire and magic wielders in the past? Why are you asking? Uh, because it seems there was a lot more to it than you've told us. All we know is that magic is forbidden in this kingdom. Anyone attempting it is accused of treason. But we don't know the reason why. It's a long story. It all started with the wicked king. King Cerulean? No, his father. But he probably no good. he's probably no good either because he's still obeying the law. The truth is, the king wanted to hoard magical power himself and create an army of magic wielders to dominate the land. The Royal Academy was against it, of course. They hadn't intended for magic to be used offensively, especially to harm people. So when the king proposed they cooperate with the Royal Army, they refused. The king was enraged by the rejection. He had every member of the Royal Academy arrested and all records concerning magic were confiscated. <gasps> I love the fact that I went, <gasps> and their little <gasps> faces came up. Gosh, that's something I never knew. I'm glad you weren't harmed, Sage. I'm one of the lucky ones. Most scholars were exiled or worse. No! This is all I can do to atone for not being able to save my colleagues back then. To let people know that magic isn't intended to harm. <laughs> After knowing the truth, do you still intend to carry out the plan? Of course we do, right Nian? I know we're not heroes or anything, but we'll do our best. It must be hard for you to live like this, Sage. I apologise if I was harsh when we first met. I just get defensive whenever someone mentions the Empire. I can't help but remember that awful tragedy. Anyway, let's focus on the things ahead of us. If my research is correct, there should be a dungeon in the icy mountain. Go there and see whether my theory is correct. Be wary of your surroundings and don't act recklessly. May the light always shine on your path. Okay. I want to go right back in there. Because you know what? He's got a chest in here that I can open with my key. A major's hat? I must know what this is. Fifteen percent magic defense, reflecting magical damage, and I'm gonna look awesome. <gasps> Little wizard's hat. That's so cute. Ah. Okay, so I now have a better sword and a, a magical hat. So maybe that'll help against some of the stunning effects, assuming there may be magical effects from the uh, little little elfy dudes. Well, that was easy. Imagery's getting a little touch full, but hopefully it'll hold out. Maybe I should just go straight for the orc and then go straight to moon, moon, whatever. Oh man, this is just, this is just too easy now. Those criticals are like off the charts. I do want to try and go for the best sword if I can and, and then get like good, really good like, iron armor. I might find I've got the stuff for it. I do need to go and have a chat with Rufus because I haven't been up there very recently. And I think he's got a lot of stuff that would be quite useful. Where's your boss gone? He's got all the good stuff. Ah, here he is. Plus 
take a, still a bit of uh, taking away out, doesn't he? But those sunstones are like worth their weight in gold, or more than the weight in gold, actually, probably. Sometimes he drops other stuff too. Ooh, and a fire stone and the copper key. Very nice. A fire sphere, even. Very nice, but also sort of taking my inventory up a little bit. I do need to probably get that other... Uh, get Pumpkin to unlock that other layer. That'll be 10,000 to do that, though. So much money. So I should probably just run straight through to the uh, Moon Lake, I think, because if I stop to kill everything on the way, I'm just going to have, like, no room left in my inventory. So I think that's the way forward. I'll run past all the golems. Like, at some point, I'll come back here and I will um, do, like, I, I'll do like a um oh do you know what the best way home from there is actually to go up into the into the mountain tunnel because there's a way home from there but obviously I'm I'm coming up here to do some to do some fighting so very different matter there are boxes and things up here that I could go and get and it, but again I don't have much inventory space so maybe they're best left for another day I want to know how much that turtle shell sells for. Obviously, I needed one for, needed one for my uh, for my quest, but I didn't get to sell it and see how much it sold for. So I would love to do that. Get out of their way. Right. So I want to see how much better I do against these little elfy dudes now. Obviously, the boss will take a bit of beating up, but I'm hoping these guys will be a little bit less difficult. Oh, actually, a couple of gooeys here right now. Ah, silver chest. Nice. Demonic Bane. Accessory. Uh, imagine all the things you could do with this many limbs. The perfect costume to wear when you're sneaking up on your arachnophobe friends. Physical penetration plus 15%. However, if I don't have enough uh, room to pick up the... Ow. See, it's the way that they can smack you twice. It's so irritating. Well, that's slightly better. He's got one little friendo over there. The more of them there are, the more leaves I get, though. Oh no, he dropped insect wings. So that's my inventory completely and utterly chock full now. Okay. I might have to drop some stuff. Hello, soldier. He does a little ice spell. Stop doing your ice spell, mate. Problem is, you don't really stun him very much.
So my inventory is full. I've got a turtle shell. So I need to drop something that's not going to be too expensive. 18 poor pennies. 25 poor pennies. 5 poor pennies. I don't know how much clay sells for, but I guess I'm going to drop the... Uh, the mucus and take the turtle shell you guys are just annoying I want your leaves please but they'll stack okay I'm gonna head back and sell all, and sort out my inventory and sell all this stuff I'm hoping that the turtle shell will sell for a good amount so we shall see roll my way out of danger should be able to just head straight back home um, I could go and like try and kill the jack-o-lantern guy he's gonna take some doing I think oh no 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 there's a box there as well again not gonna open that right now I know where there's two golden chests as well and, and some of the some of the things that I've picked up just need to go in my chests because I get their like changes to um, my gear so they definitely need to I think they almost need to be in the second chest like gear in, in one chest and items in another I mean gear is still items but you know what I mean like items to sell and, and use for crafting and stuff right so home we go I'm going to sell all the leaves and I'm going to try and sell because I can get that turtle shell whenever I want now. I pretty much unlocked him. Um, and I can also sell the sunstone. So the sunstone is a thousand poor pennies just on its own. Really? Wow. The sunstone sells for more than the turtle soldier thing. That's insane. Leaves sell for 162. No. Amber. Can be sold for a high price. No, we're gonna sell these guys for. 24 pennies each or whatever. We're going to sell the honey. So the orc tokens, the honey, stingers, the monster meat. And then I'm... Uh, and do you know what the insect wings? So 3,032. So they're about 30 each or so. See so the amber I think is 1,000. So that would be, yeah. But it doesn't, it doesn't drop very often and doesn't drop off everybody and, and oh, I've got a new ability as well, I need to remember that. Things like this little hat here, this little accessory thing. But I love my wings. I love my wings too much. So that's my third piece of amber and if I need amber for anything it's going to be kind of difficult and, you know, it's always, it's always good to know where things come from as well. I might have 4,000 by tomorrow. I'm not sure. Oh, I must have used all my uh, previous fire orbs. But I can definitely get more uh, spells if I want. Silver. I can eventually, I don't know, get more tools and stuff. I'm trying to save up the clay until I get 20. I'm not doing so well on that at the moment. And I think I have enough to upgrade my watering can now. I don't have enough money, but I do have enough gold. So that would be pretty awesome. Uh, and there's a, a few things being sold. Um, I need to plant some corn really so I can get those onions to go for some onion rings. Assuming I don't have any oil left. No, I don't think I do, so 
Uh, always need keeping the key on me because keys should be right by you and that's how you use them. So I've got another couple of key from defeating a boss. Uh, I've got some seeds I could plant. I think they are pineapple. Okay, good, good, good. Let's go to bed and make our money and see what we can do in the morning. In fact, no, it's time for the end of the episode. Goodness me, but we did some cool stuff today. We got the tunnel entrance unlocked. We got a new magical hat, a new magical sword. Well, not really magical, but an upgraded sword. A new sword um, ability, which I will try uh, and remember to equip next time and uh, and try and use. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're doing pretty well. I, I, I just don't know where all of the side quests have seem to seemingly gone to, but um, I don't know, maybe I... Seems to just be this journey to the icy mountain. Maybe what's happened is that I did so many side quests that I got out of sync with them, and I need to go to the icy mountain now. I don't know. Quest items, completed quests. But there do seem to be an awful lot of quests with an awful lot of people. So I, I really, I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Maybe I have to trade with them more, and then that unlocks their quests. So then we'll. Well, I'll have to find out. But anyway, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome. <laughs>